the 32 Red Casino Handicap is next. Um, this is a long distance on two miles and a furlong this time. We'll look at the card when it comes through. These. Let's take a look. The top one is Funky Music, Martin Lee, and Point of Interest, Alex Cherry, Dieppe, James Follis, Royal Palace, Kevin Minahan, Mr. Capdoor, Doug Warren, Force 10, Kevin Minahan, Javelin, Carl Aragante, Spirit Darmore, Obi Wan, Grey Wizard, Jim Murray, Frosty Valuga, Darren Howells against the odds, James Follis, and Frosty Geronimo, Darren Howells. So 12 of them, 12 of them, men. good size field. Two miles and one furlong with just a one turn. They're all in. And away they go. And it looks like it's against the odds. It might be the only thing as they race away from us down the hill and down towards that one turn that comes up pretty quick. We're going to play Jockey Cam on Frosty Geronimo for the first part of the race, it would seem. Let me see. Horse has been pulled to the outside and then pulled back to the inside. Jockey can't make his mind up which route he wants to take. Darren Howells will be pleased. It's Flat race and not a jump race if I'm commentating on it. And anyway, Diep to the leader from Mr. Capdoor second. Bit of a gap then off two two lengths or so to Grey Wizard and Funky Music together. The yellow jacketed Spirit Dart was on the outside of those two. A gap of a length then to Javelin. The Royal Palace and against the odds. Tucked in between them. Point of interest and then the back three. Force ten. And the Darren House Bear, Frosty Geronimo and Frosty Valuga. It's not a frosty race. Oh, Darren House, and they finish out the back. So Dieppe is then who's taking it up from Mr. Capdoor. Already through the first half mile or so, they've got a mile and a half still to race. And Dieppe's in front from Mr. Capdoor. They're a couple of lengths clear of Grey Wizard in third place. And the funky music in the green jacket with the yellow jacketed spirit Dartmoor on the outside. And Royal Palace is making a forward move. And after that one is Javelin. Force Tens also getting a little bit closer. You can see two or three trainers here with two runners. Taking advantage of the opportunity to get two runners in the races. Which is good. And Dieppe is just about in front by about a neck. To Mr. Capdoor on the outside in second. They're four lengths clear. Grey Wizard and Funky Music and race together. We have Spirit Dartmoor just behind them. Royal Palace on the outside of the Kevin Meenan pair are together. That's Royal Palace and Force 10. Point of interest just on their outside. And the first of the Darren House horses, Frosty Valuga, has now got past the early leader against all odds with Frosty Geronimo. Still just the tail end, Charlie, but they're looking for a good split up that inside rail. The Epid is then in front as they pass the seven furlong pole and we see them racing off into the distance Still a long way to go a wind blowing across the heath and battering these horses and making a stiff test of stamina and now Dieppe just being pushed to regain that lead Spirit Darmor is the one that appears to be going really well on the outside in the yellow jacket also creeping up closer is against the odds but it's Dieppe in the lead still Go back to the view from the inside. Javelin is now piercing his way through and comes through to challenge the lead. So Dieppe's in the lead from Javelin. Then the second of the Formula One Follis horses against the odds is on the outside. Spirit Dartmoor still going well now. Royal Palace starts to make a move. Mr. Capdoor is dropping away. Funky Moose is going to need a little bit of a split. Also coming through the run on the outside is Point of Interest. But they've still got three and a half furlongs to go. They're beginning to bunch and now Royal Palace takes the lead. Royal Palace by three quarters of a length. To Javelin in second, then against the odds, then Spirit Darmore. DX dropped away. Funky Music has now got a clear run if he's good enough. After that one, Mr. Capdoor and Force 10, but it's Royal Palace in the lead. Royal Palace is a good two lengths clear, then into the final two furlongs. Royal Palace two lengths clear of Spirit Darmore against the odds, then Javelin. Funky Music now trying to run on. Then comes Grey Wizard, but it's Royal Palace who's in the lead. Royal Palace hits the furlong, pop the lead of a good three lengths, being chased by Funky Music on the inside, against the odds on the outside, then Spirit Darmore. Royal Palace looks to slip the field here. And Royal Palace is pulling away and raced up towards the line. It's going to be a win for Kevin Meenahan and Royal Palace. Royal Palace takes it. Second is Funky Music, then Grey Wizard and Force Terrell against the odds and point of interest. Spirit Darmor after that one. And the long time leader Dieppe was the last one to finish. And Royal Palace might not be quite as good as the 1967 Derby winner, but he's won that one well for Kevin Meenahan. Funky Music second for Martin Lidham. Grey Wizard was third for Jim Murray. Force 10 for Kevin Meenahan again was fourth. And against the odds for James Follis was fifth.